Hey guys, it's Josh. This time, I'm hiking the Grafton Loop. 40 miles of maze, here we go. All right, we are in the woods. We just did a 0.6 mile road walk from the car to this trail. And uh, we already went through a nice meadow, two nice meadows over a bridge. So uh, I'm thinking this is gonna be a good trip. I saw that the weather was good. I wanted to get to Maine this summer. So I drove seven hours from New York City today. It's like four o'clock now. I might just go to the first campsite I see, which is uh, like, 1.8 miles or you know if my legs keep carrying me I might just keep going 5.6 to the next one so I have like three days to finish the loop so hopefully just an easy night but who knows I know myself I might just keep going oh well, yeah right now we're on this uh, snowmobile trail I think for a little bit oh already loving these woods Water, that's a good sign. So the trail just starts along this nice brook, which is very pretty, mossy rocks. Glad to know that the water's running. Evening and early morning, my favorite times to walk in the woods. What is this here? Bald Mountain Tent Site. That way, Sergeant Brook campsite, 3.8 miles. All right, it's about 4.30. It took me a half hour to get here. So since it is still early, my senses tell me to keep going, but also I'm nervous about water. There's supposed to be reliable water at every campsite besides one, which is like the last one we're staying at, but it is getting less and less. I don't know if you can see, there's a dry stream back there. Not totally dry, but trickle. And while we're stopped, let me show you what we've done so far. So this is where we parked, right here. We did this road walk, right here. And then we're right here. Bald Mountain Campsite. So I think we're gonna keep going. Hopefully see some views over Stowe Mountain. And then stay at Sergeant Brook Campsite. I just drank a bunch of water and refilled up. So I think I'm just gonna keep walking. Still going up. I like these stairs though. Very cool. I appear to be on the west, the east side of the mountain, so it's getting kind of dark over here. But as soon as I get up to the top, I'm sure it will be beautiful. But there is a, a bit of steepness going up here. So this is the ridge line of uh, Stowe Mountain. I'm not sure we're gonna get any views on this one because I think it's less than 3,000 feet. But if we do, bring it back. All right, we're coming up to something that could be a clearing. No view. The lovely treetops. All right, we're pretty close to camp now, I think. Which is good, because I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, there's something. It's not much. But it's the first one of the trip. This would be a great place to see some stars, especially tonight. It is supposed to be gorgeous, according to the weather report, for the entire trip. Clear at night, down in the 50s, perfect. And I don't think very windy either. I think 10 miles tonight. Hoping I get to see some uh, stars at camp. Maybe, maybe not. But I sure do miss the night sky. All right, I see a sign. Old spec, we're gonna do that tomorrow. 7.2 miles, awesome. 
and Sergeant Brook Tensa. That's where we're going. It says there's water there, so that's good. All right, let's go check it out, shall we? It's definitely dry. It's the first week in August, by the way. Go down here a little bit, see if there's anything else. All right, we got an outhouse, bear box, an eating area, which is nice. And then tent set up there and a tent site down there. So it sucks that there's no water. So luckily I managed to not drink much before I came and I'll probably just have a bar and uh, there is a water source early on tomorrow, hopefully. Well, I'm gonna set up and then I'll uh, check back in. All right. All set up. So I already ate dinner. Um, I just had a pro bar and spam. Uh, if you don't like spam and you're into backpacking, you should learn because spam is awesome. No water needed. Um, I had a few sips, but I drank a lot on that stream earlier so I wouldn't be dehydrated. But anyways, I got some new gear. My ULA rain skirt kind of got some holes punctured in it, so I finally got the Z-Pax uh, Cuban fiber. Mostly I got it because uh, it makes a better ground sheet than the ULA one. I also got this Z-Pax uh, utility pouch for all my camera stuff. I like the Light AF uh, fanny pack. It was just a little too small for all the camera stuff. I could fit it in there, but you know, getting it getting it in and out was kind of a pain. The upside of the Light AF one was is that it was smaller, so it wasn't trapping as much heat. So anyways, I'll go back and forth with them. I mean, I'll probably use the Light AF one when I'm not filming. Other than that, standard uh, Darien hammock. 30 degree under quilt from hammock gear and then I have a 40 degree top quilt which I haven't took out of its stuff sack yet. But yeah so with my bag I usually just hang it up there. It's pretty much empty. There's uh, like my rain cover and my water filter in there. And then for my tie out I take the shock cord which is actually really nice. It helps a lot. I just lark's head on the line lock hook and then I can easily adjust the tension and you know it prevents it from being pulled too tight. So also make sure you tie a uh, slip knot here just because the wind will push up your tarp and then it will loosen. It's happened to me a couple times. If you guys want to know anything about my setup uh, make sure you leave some comments. I'll answer them or I'll do a video. So uh, I'm gonna get into some warmer clothes and listen to some podcasts and Go to bed, it's that time of night where you're just like, hey, why am I out here all alone? So it's a little quiet, a little creepy. It's nice to have you guys to talk to. See you tomorrow. Good morning. A little chilly, it got cold last night. Uh, I'm gonna get my bear bag, eat breakfast really quickly, pack up and then get on the trail and hopefully find water pretty soon. All right, so here's our goal for today. We are right here. We want to go over Old Spec, and plan A is to get to East Bald Plate. I want to avoid this campsite because it's on the AT. It is early August, so 
the uh, through hiker bubble should be there right about now. So I want to avoid that. So yeah, so first thing is find water. I think there's a water source like two miles away. So we'll see. All right, we're on the uh, trail that is heading up to Sunday River Whitecap. Trees are getting smaller. I love these sections. All right, coming up here, looks like we might get our first good view of the trip. Wow. Looks like we got to go up a little bit more. This is awesome though. There's a Sunday River right over there. Ski Mountain. Feels so good being back in the mountains. And I think this is like the smallest, or second smallest peak. So. Hopefully it's only gonna get better. Oh, that breeze feels so good. Man, the landscaping on top of this mountain is beautiful. Good job, AMC. Good morning. Sadly, I must go find water. So I think we just go down and there should be a stream uh, right below this summit here. There's the road. So we're gonna go get over that. Hopefully do lunch up there and then come down here. Ooh, I don't know where we're gonna go. Over there somewhere. <laughs> Again, kind of making this up as I go along. But uh, yeah, water. Let's go get some. Yay! Mm, how nice. This is a very cool trail so far. Lots of cool things like this. Oh, and a sign. That's oh, going the other way. Alpine zone. Keep on trucking. All right, we came down a fair, fair amount. Now it's just uh, this flat section, which is. Pretty nice. Still haven't found water yet. So hopefully that's coming soon. All right, looks like we're coming up to the next campsite and hopefully water. Water, 25 yards. All right. All right, I found water. Woohoo! So, uh, I'm going to drink this entire stream and then eat some food and continue on to Old Spec. So, I was able to fix a little puncture I had in here with uh, Aqua Seal. Worked pretty good. Woo! I feel better now! Drank a ton of water, ate some cliff blocks. Ate some food, so now I'll definitely be good to get over old spec. Um, I think there's more water as we go too, so not really worried that much about it anymore. But definitely be cautious and drink as much as I can when I take a break. Um, yeah, so it's about like 11 o'clock. Hopefully I'll get to the top by one. I might eat lunch up there. I might actually go down to the road where there's water and eat lunch. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right, a little overgrown in this section. Anyone got a machete? All right, looks like we reached Bull Run Campsite. 1.9 miles to Old Speckled Hen. And we've done 1.1 since we got the water. All right, I think I'm okay with water. Famous last words. But uh, I really haven't taken a sip yet since we left the water source back there. Now we start going up, 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 and up. Well, that's where we're headed, up there. I do believe. It's like 12 o'clock, so 
should be up there by one, definitely. Much more brush on this uh, shell coming up than I thought there was gonna be. Alright, we made it to the fire tower of Old Spec. 360 views, amazing. We're just uh, chatting with a bunch of, uh, or three, self-bound AT hikers, so that was cool. And uh, hopefully they're gonna make it by November, they said. All right, I'm debating whether or not to have lunch here or get down to the street. I'm leaning the street just so I can take one break, get water. I think that's what I'm gonna do. You're not right, I'm not in my right. All right, we're leaving the uh, tower on Old Spec. I believe it's steeper going down, so I'm ready to uh, bust my knees up a little. I'm gonna meet up with the AT and then get down to the parking lot where I can drink a ton of water and eat some lunch probably. We are officially on the AT. I can go that way. I'm gonna end up in Georgia. So I'm gonna go this way and follow our loop down to the parking lot. Route 26. Not bad. It always feels cool following these white blazes. Look at that. Do you believe we're going up there? Still haven't reached the uh, real steep section down, but we're getting there. Getting to the parking lot. I'll make sure I don't slip on these rocks here. Okay, this is a pretty cool lunch spot. All right, normally I would stop right here for lunch, but there's a big group of uh, either Boy Scouts or Wilderness group of kids pretty close behind me. So I think I'm gonna leave this spot for them. So they're probably going to want a break here, it seems like. Um, I'm going to continue, get to that water source across the road. It's kind of looking like I'm going to do the AT shelter. I do want to take a break um, down there. And uh, it's almost 3.30, I think. So we'll see uh, our timing. But still going down. All right, I definitely hear the road now. Old Spec Trail. Alright, at the road. Alright, now I'm hoping there's water over here somewhere. My sources say that there is. Yeah, this isn't actually that bad. And I will... 
tap in here, drink some water, eat some food, all that good stuff. Alright, soaking some feet. Got my uh, lunch cooking. Um, whew, this is cold water. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take a break and then I'm back on the trail. We're back at it. We'll see where we get. Following the AT to East Ball Plate Shelter or West Ball Plate Shelter. All right, she did a fair amount of climbing. A little harder than yesterday, but uh, not too bad. It's supposed to just curve around these peaks now. A lot of day hikers coming down, so it's kind of embarrassing when they uh, run into me talking to myself. Let's go check out this lane too here. There's some water. Not the best. Let's go look. Let's go check it out. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stay here tonight. There's a uh, water. There's one AT hiker over there. There's a bunch of campsites, so that's cool. I know there's a father and son that was behind me. He's probably gonna come here. So I'm uh, pretty far back. I'm gonna set up my hammock between. Those two trees, which is not ideal, but it's nice to be uh, far back away from everyone. So I got the hammock set up, and uh, I think I'm going to go over there and uh, not be antisocial and have dinner. So I'll check it back in with you guys after. Alright guys, I'm uh, just chilling in my hammock, just had dinner. It was nice to have a, a warm meal, packet of gourmet, shepherd's pie. Mm-mm, good. Uh, yeah, a few more, you know, two hackers rolled in, but still plenty of space, so. Just looking at the plan for tomorrow. Here at Bald Pate Lean 2. And I think we're gonna plan A is to get to Stewart campsite, which I know the water is not good there. And plan B, if we get there really early, we're gonna go down to the car and finish. I'm gonna try to get up much earlier than I did this morning. It was a late start. I think I left camp around nine or something. Anyways, I'm gonna to listen to a podcast and try to get some sleep. Good night, everyone. Good morning, everyone. It's about 7.15. We are on the trail, feeling hydrated, feeling good. We gotta climb right off the bat, um, but should get to a peak pretty soon. So, pumped about that. Not sure how far we're gonna get today. Maybe to the car, maybe the campsite right before, but we'll see. This is a cool stairway. We got that view. Excited to get to the uh, peak of this thing. I think we're on a ridge for a good, good while after that. Definitely going up. Hello, view. Heading down West Peak now, and the views are incredible. We're going to East Peak, which is up there, so I'm kind of glad I stayed where I stayed yesterday because that's a lot of climbing. Um, but yeah, freaking beautiful this morning. It looks like the uh, views might be even better from the East Peak, so pretty excited about that. That's where we're going. That's a freak. 
making a lot of money. I don't want to fall back. All right, we're getting to the top of East Peak now. Okay, we are going to carry on now. That's the Appalachian Trail, and we split off over here. Raft and Lube Trail. That's a 17.1 miles to Route 26. I don't know if we're going to make that. Alright, we are leaving East Pate Peak now. Uh, and we got a Looks like a 13.5 mile hike to Puzzle Mountain and then a 17.8 to the car. So, probably do the 13 miles, hopefully. Um, we'll see. But yeah, gotta keep a move on. Beautiful, beautiful peak, so. Good, uh, good start of the day. So, glad I uh, stayed at the other site yesterday, cause uh, it would have been a long haul. Beautiful, beautiful hike at night. But uh, yeah, it was nice to cook dinner and talk to some AT hikers and stuff and get some get some good sleep. But uh, yeah, now we're going. And uh, it's gonna be a long haul today. It's about nine o'clock, so it's the time we started yesterday. So I got a good amount out of the way. But I still got a long ways to go. I definitely think there's going to be some more uh, climbing today. But also more views. Beautiful trail coming off East Peak. This pines and this moss. It's really lovely. All right, we made it to a junction. Came 2.1 miles. Lightning ledge knob, that sounds cool. I hear tons of water. I actually cameled up a little brook back there because uh, my GPS says this was an intermittent stream. But it sounds like it's going pretty good. And I think this is the uh, water supply for most of the day. So I can go back to carrying less water. All right, this must be the ledge that was on that sign back there. Wow. All 
reach that same stream again. Okay, it's about 11.30 now. I think I'm going to uh, have a little lunch here. And make use of this stream before it goes away. I believe this is the last time I'm crossing it, so. I'm gonna soak my feet in that water right there. So I'm trying these uh, Njinji socks. They're working okay. It's just they're a little bit trickier and take a little bit more time to get on your feet, which is kind of annoying. 140 at this point miles on these things, and they're already tearing. Kind of getting over the ultras. They're so comfortable, but not durable. So we started here today, and we are currently right around here this river right here so i will check in with you guys on top of a long mountain and then we got a long way to go before steward campsite which is our plan a for today the miles are going kind of slow today just because there's so much to see but uh i'm gonna crank up the uh speed and try to Perhaps make it to the car, but at least to Stewart Campsite. Well, I might have stopped for lunch too early. This is a beautiful section right here. No campsite, totally past that. Didn't see the sign for that thing. Long Mountain, 0.9 miles. Stewart Campsite, 5.5 miles. Excellent. I hope uh, Noel wasn't where I was supposed to get water. Oh, this is Town Corner campsite. Okay. Right, I'm gonna check my map and see if there's water around here before I uh, climb up to Long Mountain. All right, it says if I go a little further, there should be water down here, which I see none, excellent. Oh, there's some. Great. Well, this isn't the best water source, but I don't know what the next water is, so I'm just going to take some of this. I'm not going to filter it quite yet. I'm going to wait and see if there's another uh, stream or something, and then use this if I get desperate. So, All right, so as I was uh, putting my bag down to get some water, the trail runner came and said there was no water the way I'm going. So I did filter some water, drank a bottle, and then filled up my nook bag. So now I have like three liters of water. But uh, I might not need it, but better safe than sorry. Another sign. Private property, next 10.1 miles. Excellent. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this hike up Long Mountain with the extra water weight kinda sucks. It's one of those uh, sun beating down on you inclines as well. Slowly but surely. All right, we made it to the peak of Long Mountain. There isn't much to see here. However, I believe it's just a gradual decline for a long time. So that's good. And uh, I think there is a section where you get some views, but I'm glad to be going downhill now. Hopefully I won't have to drink that disgusting water. Gotta love this ridge walking. Nice cool breeze. Oh. All right, we're getting into some rocky area, so we might get a view soon. I 
came from up there, maybe. Back into the trees. Nice section of trail here. Ah, the main woods. Such a lovely place. Follow road to right. 0.25 mile. Alright. Cool. Looks like we made it to a road. Didn't expect that. Now I just gotta make sure I don't miss a turn off. Done that before. So these are faint blazes. But here's the turn off. Definitely weird walking on a section like this. Kinda cool though. Oh, now there's water. So I just carried a bunch of extra water for nothing. But, uh, it was good training. But now I'm going to, uh, filter some of this stuff. And probably just do the whole hike. Just get up over Puzzle. Just filled up at the stream back there. So one other hiker, which is cool. So two people all day. And then, uh, yeah, I filled up, or I dumped out the gross water, and then filled up my knock bag halfway. So I think I'm just going to bust it out today. We'll see how I feel when I get to the uh, campsite, but I think I'm just going to hit up Puzzle, take a little break, and then uh, I think it's only like three miles to the car. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of day hikers up there too. All right, we reached uh, the Stewart campsite. It says there's water. I don't really want to waste the energy to find out that there's no water. So we're gonna keep going. So this campsite's about halfway up, so we got a little bit more climbing to do. Yahoo! Honestly, this is the most relaxing climb of a mountain I've ever done. I don't think coming up the other way is as easy though. This trail, if you want easy, you want to go clockwise. Counterclockwise. If you want your butt kicked or your training. Looks like we're getting above tree line. And here come the views. Oh wow. Route 26, 3.4 miles, awesome. And the southwest summit of Puzzle Mountain, 0.3 miles, awesome. Definitely good view so far for the last uh, couple hours of this trip. I'm thinking about pizza, something not healthy to eat. Not that like the backpacking food is really healthy anyways, but. Here. All right, it's about five o'clock, almost to the other peak, and then down a few miles, and then we're done. Looks like we got some more ladder. I can just walk up the. How oh, nice. Awesome.
went up over to there, went down, and came up over here. Alright guys, as much as I would love to stay and watch the sunset from here, definitely gotta get going. Well, the other side of this mountain is definitely the easy way to go up. Six miles, baby. All right, so I'm in a home stretch now. I actually didn't see any uh, day hikers at all coming down or up at the top. Um, it's got to be almost like six. Good trail, I recommend it. Definitely a good amount of different terrain, and you get the remoteness and you get the AT, which is definitely not remote but you get the views and kind of everything in between. All right, this feels like we're almost there. I see a parking lot. And I think, in fact, I see my car. It's the best feeling when it's still there. Not too many cars in the parking lot. All right, guys, this is where we started. Thanks for coming along. I hope you guys find time to get outside and escape the indoors. Thanks.